So I'm here with my dog Callie, and Callie has a data nightmare. Let's take a look. So we, here's a small sample of the data, but imagine this is thousands of rows, and here's the problem. The city is fine. <laughs> We've got the city all in one column. Uh, but the problem starts here, where we have the region across the top, and we have, in one cell, we have three columns worth of data. We have the item, which is your liver treats, or food dish, or shampoo. The quantity sold, which is 10, 7, 97, all the way through. And then the amount that we sold each one for. So we want to sort of take the 10, multiply it by 90, the 7 by 18. Now, the last problem, which is a tough one, was in each, some cells we have the same thing twice. So this should be Miami East, and then this top row, and then Miami East and the bottom row, which is the collar. Okay? So we've got a lot of different steps to clean it up. Really, all we want to do in the end is have the data normalized. Everything, city, region, item, quantity, sales, all this stuff is in its own column. Then we can do a quick pivot table. So let's look at step one. Step one would be uh, Alt DP. Now that's a way to, the first step in sort of normalizing this data. And you go like this Alt DP. Uh, multiple consolidation ranges, you, you click this, next, you pick your data, you make sure this says zero, and you click finish. What you get is data like this. This doesn't really mean much, but it's a pivot table, but uh, a little bit hard to explain. There's other videos that explain it better, but going kind of quickly here, uh, we double left click the bottom, the grand total, and the next step is uh, to, so we're going to extract from the pivot cache the data that's in a better format from this pivot. So we go to the next step. Now we have our data in three columns. So we're starting to get there. Uh, but we still have a problem because uh, we have these different lines, right, of data. There's two here, there's two there, there could be three, five. We want to extract that. If we just do a text to columns right now, I think what would happen, I'm pretty sure, it would just chop off the bottom part, only keep the top one only when we have the multiple lines. So what you have to do is highlight this go to data, text to columns, as a delimiter, go next, and in the other, you have to go in here, hold down the control key, and press the letter J. Then when you press finish, we get what we have in step four. It's starting to look a little bit better. Now that one column here, with sometimes multiple lines, we've got it over here, two separate columns. So that's that's good. Now, Next thing we have to do is uh, before we, we're going to do Alt DP again to normalize this another time, but we have to put these two things together. So let's go to step five. Um, let's. Oh yeah, here I have it just to demonstrate. In between B and D, I've got these concatenated together to put the city and the region, which here it says row and column, put it together like this. So now we're going to do Alt DP again, where you would highlight the whole thing do the steps I showed you before so that we get to this point and we of course we double left click here in the grand total and our data is now looking like this so now we're getting closer and closer okay so what we have to do now is we have to delete the blank rows or sort it and get it you know to the top or to the bottom highlight all of this um, and then we just delete those rows that are blank then we do text to columns on the row field to split out the city and the region, and we do text to columns over here to split out the item, the quantity, and the price, which is the last field. So finally, uh, after doing that last step, you get data that looks like this, and you can just do your pivot table to analyze your data for everything that you are selling. So, we have finished and now Kelly is all happy because she gets her data normalized all cleaned up.